What's up guys, Breton Arts here. Quick tutorial on how to create a glow effect. It looks really cool. Doesn't take too much time, but you get a really nice result. Alright, so start up by going new project. A thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. Resolution doesn't matter, I set mine to 300. Now you don't need to create a new layer, but you can if you want to. So foreground color, set it to 922F00. Then background, just set it to black. Alright, now grab your gradient tool. If you don't see it, go to your paint bucket, click and hold, and you'll see the gradient. Now click the one where it's your foreground to black. Make sure it's radial kind of gradient and go from the center to the top you should get something like that now duplicate so control J and set that blend mode to color dodge and you'll see it brightens it up a lot more now what we're gonna do is render some clouds over this layer Alrighty, so make sure your foreground and background colors are black and white. So you can click D. Now create a new layer. And we go to Filter, Render, Clouds. And you'll get a bunch of clouds. Alright, now go to Filter, Sketch, Chrome. Now, make Detail 4 and Smoothness 7. Hit OK. Now you're going to zoom out a little bit, a lot actually. Click Ctrl T and enlarge the cloud image a lot. Alright, now hit Enter. Now zoom in again. And you should get something like that. Now set the Blend Mode to Overlay and opacity to 30%. Alright, now you should have something like this now. Now go to your brush tool, hotkey B, set your size to 5 pixels, smoothness, hardness, sorry, to 0, go into your brush menu option thing, go to shape dynamic, and set everything to Pen pressure, make sure size jitter and everything else is zero except for the last one, keep that the same. Alright, now grab your pen tool, create a new layer. Pen tool hockey is P by the way, and just create a path with some large curves, like that. Right click on it and click stroke path. Make sure your tool is brush and make sure you have a check beside simulate pressure. Alright, now go right click and say delete path. And I'm going to set a color overlay so you can see this. Alright, so now you should have something like this. Now we're going to add some effects. So go layer effects, so double click the layer, go drop shadow, and set the blend mode to color dodge. Set the color to FFD12F. You're gonna make distance 0, spread 0, and size 25. Now go over to Outer Glow. Make sure it's screen as blend mode. For color, go FF793B. And make your size 104. Now go color overlay, make sure it's white. Hit OK. Alright, now create a new layer and just do the same thing as you did before for the other path. And I'm just going to fast forward this part. And we're back.
back. Did you guys like that epic music? Don't worry, I'll leave it on playing in the background for you guys. So go ahead, create a new layer, add your text. I'm using Felix Tilting as my font. Set font size to anything you want. Uh, I'm just gonna speed up this part as well. Alright, by the way, you can right click layers that have layer styles and just go copy layer style and go paste layer style. Sorry I didn't mention to you that oh sorry I didn't mention that to you guys earlier. Sorry about that. But anyway, you should end up with something like this after you have inputted your text. Anyways, go create a new layer. Set it to a bluish color. And make your background color white. Now go to your gradients tool again and go from the top left corner, hold shift and drag three quarters of the way diagonal. Now set your blend mode to color and opacity to 50%. Now create another new layer. Make your foreground color a magenta pinkish color and same thing with the gradient but bottom right corner three quarters of the way diagonally now set your blend mode to color opacity 50% again now create another new layer and this time Make it a bright yellow for foreground color. Now for gradient, set it to yellow to transparent. Now go from the bottom left corner, go three quarters of the way diagonally. Set your blend mode to color again and opacity to 50% again. Now bring all three of those gradient layers down to the bottom but above your first two gradients. Alright, there you go guys, you have created a glow effects. Now if you like this tutorial, drop it, give it a like, it helps, and comment, subscribe, whatever. And thanks for watching guys. By the way, if you want a stronger outer glow, use a bigger size brush and then go paste layer style.